Hi everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Let me bring this up. Make sure we're doing good and it is recording and everything's coming through, which is fantastic. Today, today, today is December 7th, 2020, and we're doing a live stream open discussion, investing in personal finance. And this is something sort of a new series that we're starting off. And basically, I titled it, let's take a look at the stock market. And what we're going to do is look at certain metrics in the markets. And uh, the metrics we're going to look at are going to be introductory, right? We're going to start off. See, Death, how are you doing? Welcome, welcome to another live stream. Hope you're doing well. Uh, today, right now, is actually 9.30 in the morning, so uh, it's a fun time, actually. Uh, when I used to do this, uh, do trading, active trading, and follow the markets and stuff like this, uh, I'm on the west coast of Canada, United States, and uh, we used to start at, you know, 5.30 in the morning, start looking at the data coming in, right? So it's fun to do it. Um, sleepy waves, how are you doing? Been waiting for this for a while. Never looking at the stock. Well, never looked at the stock market. Can't wait to follow along any websites to have open. Awesome. Sleep. And what we're going to do, gang, we're going to go slow. We're going to look, some, look at some of the terminology, net profit, uh, P.E. ratio, um, earnings per share and stuff like this. We're going to build this up slowly. And I'm going to give it an intro as, you know, as soon as we wait until notifications go out until uh, after I do my little intro thing. But I'll let you know how it's going to go. And we're going to go really slow with this, man. We're going to enjoy this. I was very active in the markets 20 years ago okay so i used to have a lot of websites the way i do my news channels and stuff i had lots of websites lots of metrics i was following and stuff like this i lost a lot of those and a lot of those websites went under right so we're gonna build up that whole database together okay betty white's the man the myth the legend hey isn't the smith what's going on <laughs> the man the myth, the legend. smith did you change your name betty white's whitey betty whitey cd death 12 30 here awesome east coast yo void let's go how you doing twitching jason's greeting gangs i think i can finally stick around for the whole stream today awesome twitching jason should be fun and we're this is just pure education right uh and refresher for me so we're going to go through the whole thing alex how are you doing hey chicho hope you're well really doing well man i got my tea going on got some little banana bananas chopped up uh, just for a snack if i need to if i get the munchies x how are you doing <laughs> truffles present well right on where's the truffles at by the way huckleberry how are you doing hey chicho hey chat glad you're streaming i've taken two finals already today wow and my brain is slush in need of some relaxation and education also hopefully uh, uh, like we're not going to go too hardcore mm -hmm. with the stuff um it's going to be very chill enjoyable stream that we're about to do okay i hope so anyway and gang as far as who i am what this is about i'm on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work if you want to know what this work is about it is layered on mathematics as personal finance stock market ratios stuff we're going to look at right now is going to make it pretty clear why we need the mathematics to be able to do this right for those of you who've been supporting this work through patreon thank you very much for your support i hope i hope and i'm based on the messages i get and i have been getting over the years i hope people are appreciative of your support for this work because it is mainly in large part because of your support that we're able to do this i can sort of extend do the calculus and figure out where we're going and how fast i can roll things out so i appreciate it very much and i know a lot of other people appreciate it as well okay lack of caring i feel your <laughs> your brain pain <laughs> lack of caring says oh and how are you doing hey chicho uh just want to say i really appreciate your email response to me ah oh, you're welcome brother i'm going to sit through uh some assange videos later thank you so much my own brother thank you know thank you for reaching out thank you for the trust you know uh, take everything i say with a grain of salt 
um, just to let you guys know, people know what's going on. Owen just sent me a message last night after the stream we did. I, I checked it out and it was a very nice, intricate message. And um, he was a little hard on himself. I'll tell you the truth. Owen, I hope you're okay with me saying this stuff, right? And uh, I replied right away uh, because the email that he wrote was head and shoulders above anything I could have ever written when I was his age. And I mentioned that this to Owen, right? Gang, don't be hard on yourself. There's a lot of noise in the world, right? And this noise is by design. It's by design from centralized power that wants to keep you enslaved, wants you keep wants to keep you uninformed, uh, confused, right? Take a breather, relax. Don't try to consume one minute memes. 30 second bits of information, five minute bits of information, 10 minute minute bits of information. Get into, if you're being a little overwhelmed with what's going on in the world and what's going on in your life and you're confused, you wanna find out what this is all about. Start consuming extended, long play, long books, read books, read long articles, follow a series, right? Because what that does is gives you enough time to be able to process the information before before jumping from one point to another point, right? What's going on right now is there's a lot of noise coming in, right? And the noise might be not just noise if it was part of the bigger picture, but because everything's so disconnected and there's a lot of censorship going on, it's hard to put things in the appropriate context. So slow the F down when centralized power the powers that be want you to speed up right slow down right be a contrarian and that is something that uh an amazing investment technique in uh in the markets as well as well to be a contrarian okay so on my pleasure thank you for the response and what i did gang um what i sent on uh, aside from just some advice regarding mathematics to get back into it and the best way to get into learning mathematics is to teach mathematics that was the road that i took and you have to put your students on the forefront okay the other one was uh owen asked me about julian assange and i sent him a link on the world uh oh Owen, what was it called uh world uh, world next oh my god um julian Assange. okay i'm gonna find it for you guys i'm gonna link it up to you guys as well world tomorrow world tomorrow julian assange world tomorrow it's a 12 uh, uh there it is no no there, oh there it is world tomorrow weekly column julian assange uh, wait a second well this is, should be a this should be on wiki no, this is a weekly column. I haven't been to this one. Cool. But it was on a wiki thing. So let me find it. Jeebies, jeebies. Where is it? Uh, world. Oh, I know how I found it. I went to here and I clicked uh, their website here. There we go. Okay. Here's the link, gang. You want to know what's going on with Julian Assange? And you need to know what's going on with Julian Assange. Everyone needs to know what's going on with Julian Assange. Julian Assange put out a 12, 12 episode series where he interviewed some of the some very important people and discuss some very important topics uh, regarding our world. And this came out in uh, early 2010s. Watch them, all of them, okay? That's what I'll say about that. Uh, I'm gonna catch up with Chad, man. I went off on a tangent there. Owen, my pleasure. Lonely Piggy, hey Chicho, hope all is well. Um, got back from a uh, Cairo, chirurgical tooth removal chiro chirurgical i have no idea excited for a chance to relax with my stream pain and headache is annoying oh man i feel you dentists are hardcore uh, da, 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 da. cheryl how are you doing hope you're doing well good morning by the way huckleberry this week is gonna be a struggle but after that i'm off ba, 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 ba. yes yes uh and never forget chase your dreams yeah chase your dreams don't let these evil people suck you up in simple life. 
young Polacks agreed 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 oh thanks Owen uh, unfortunately well fortunately unfortunately the way we've set it up only me and mods can provide links so just because we're getting phishing scams okay aside from that gang we are live streaming on twitch if you want to participate in the chat as it's happening twitch is where you want to be at and for those of you who are following liking sharing commenting being here on twitch thank you very much for being here gina how are you doing i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor lo minds vk gap and twitter and we do share additional content there and we do have a discord page as well okay and at any time you want you can come to our twitch channel and type in social and all the links will be provided including our discord page and people are sharing a lot of information there and talking a lot and discussing things which is a fantastic thing open forum right kebabs greetings greetings how are you doing i think baba chicho i just finished the beat over two packs verse for his song pain i'll uh, link it in discord it's an uh, intense verse and I, i'm happy with the beats awesome good stuff thing bobber chase your dreams gang you want to play you want to create music create music really create it share it period end of story you want to write poetry write poetry share it don't hold it to yourself right the best way to learn is to share because you get feedback both positive and negative constructive and destructive take it all with a grain of salt and try to improve okay period that's how i start doing my stuff we will be uploading the audio for this to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho chycho as a podcast and it should be available on your favorite podcast and platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this live stream this video to both bit and youtube okay now let me do this chicho that 30 seconds was words of wisdom, golden sound bites, golden sound bites. <laughs> awesome. And uh, by the way, again, if you want to support this work on BitChute and YouTube, you can like, you can subscribe, you can turn on notifications for sure. BitChute, you're guaranteed to get them. YouTube, not so much. But if you're on YouTube, you want to support this work, you can join YouTube membership. There's a button under the video. And for those of you who've supported this work through YouTube membership, thank you very much for the support. I'm going to take these guys down. And we're gonna get into this okay investing in personal finance we're looking at the markets gang we're looking at the markets uh, specifically Wall Street because we're gonna look at some of the metrics and the metrics are basically ratios and that directly links up with the math content when they were creating and this is consider this part one of a new series that we're starting that is a continuation of previous stuff that we've done which you can find here okay uh, Huckleberry, is anyone else getting a weird uh, window inside a window? Oh, you are indeed because, oh no, are you? Da -da -da -da. Let me turn this off. Okay, is that gone now, the sound effect? Uh, feed, maybe I'll leave and come back and see. Chicho, does YouTube Premium include a free sub to a channel like Amazon Prime and Twitch? It should. Um, what, yeah, YouTube um thank you very nicholas thank you very much for the uh for the twitch prime sub and how you doing brother uh sorry about the audio we will be turning on the audio when we play videos okay so i have the audio on um my apologies for that oh what i need to do is do this hold on a second i know what i need to do i need to go here and i need to turn off the audio here oh that is off so that is off da, 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 da. let me know if you guys get any sound problems gang okay uh, and before we start the videos, I'm going to turn on the the audio for the for the computer, right? Yeah. So for if you join YouTube Premium, what happens is um, you don't see advertisements, thing bobber. So you get ad-free content, which is not a bad thing actually. Twitching Jason, I I believe so anyway. Or that's YouTube Prime. When you join YouTube, mem when you join YouTube membership, uh, it allows content creators to share additional content that they're not sharing with the general public, um, which is sort of as a thank you for people who've joined the YouTube membership. Right? They get extra content. But for me, 
I believe in sharing everything I'm not putting anything behind paywalls so with the YouTube membership you're not getting any additional content from me later on in the future when I make things um, the modules the math modules and stuff I'll probably send those out for free to the people who've been supporting me on YouTube uh, YouTube membership and stuff like that and maybe send out some additional free content for them but we're not there yet okay and I haven't told people that I'm gonna do that yet because uh, I don't know when I'm gonna get into it I don't wanna I don't want people to join um, expecting things to come right away uh, I don't want to can you know fool people into joining and stuff like this i don't i don't want to incentivize people in that manner uh to join youtube membership i just sort of uh, i guess it's my arrogance or whatever you want to call it uh, i want people to join youtube membership because of all the content i'm creating and all the work that i'm doing okay which is the reason that people on patreon have joined right and which is the region that people are joining on twitch prime tier one and stuff like this and youtube membership there are a handful of people that are doing that uh twitching jason i assume we'll be going through fundamentals for a little while indeed twitching jason but i'm curious if anyone here has heard of fire um fi financially independent retire early i haven't done uh community or i i haven't heard about it twitching jason i just cut back my just over the last few years i've really cut back on my uh presence on reddit after like 13 years of being on reddit for the last four years i've really slowed it down just because of censorship right yes it's the video feed is there still a sound finance dream nicholas what's up good morning carlos how are you doing good morning chicho how are you doing this morning crap just realized i missed the movie choice stream all good this this personal finance stream seems to be something i need awesome chicho you have a mirrored video video there's a video tunnel okay is the sound sorted out now chicho i don't know how familiar you are with groups rings and other algebraic structures not very but it would be cool to uh talk about it next month yeah i'm not uh, uh, group theory a uh, number theory and stuff like this i'm not the best at it okay young polex is fine i think it was just the obs that was opened uh so it looked like a video tunnel oh is that what it was okay okay so it wasn't the sound so what happens if i turn on the desktop sound right now that way i don't have to worry about uh turning it on and off before videos just in case i forget so i hope we're not getting an echo right now is that okay we shouldn't be the sound is fine sound is fine nothing happened awesome we're gonna leave it leave it on then okay gang let me give you a little intro as where to where we are okay one of the things lacking in our current education system is information on personal finance okay is he using his browser uh to show us uh something my bad i didn't know he had uh that window open <laughs> yeah i did uh well uh, no no you're not dumb thing while we're just a little confusion she show i'm good bro nicholas says hope all is well in your end do you still plan on growing the beard out or has the notion passed you by i still intend on it and uh, i sort of go on 420 time uh sometimes i do things speedy gonzalez style sometimes i i'm like da -da -da -da, chilling through it right so at some point i will be growing a beard i really do miss it but it maybe maybe at the end of this school year um i might take this off go without facial hair for maximum like two months <laughs> because i love facial hair and then i'm going to start growing a beard back again so maybe in the summer we do maybe okay I, and one of the things is is bugging me right now is the masks right that we have to wear so whenever i wear a mask my goatee goes all wacko so beard would go crazy wacko right and it's mandatory mask wearing insides right now where i am so growing a beard right now is not an option uh, but i'm not gonna cut my goatee because of masks it, it, it pissed me off too much i think i visit this playlist often haha <laughs> sounds okay to me okay awesome 
Odd make, how are you doing? Ah, oh, Chicho, I haven't slept since the movie series. Are you serious, Odd make? How come you're working on a math problem? You know, there's some really neat math behind the stock, indeed, stock market gambling kind of math like you would use for poker. Indeed, indeed, Odd make, and it's fun. Are you going, uh, you crop it short? That my goatee, no. Uh, if if that's what you mean, you know, I ain't gonna I ain't gonna crop this. No 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 no. What I plan on to do with the facial hair is do a handlebar for just a little bit, just a few streams with a handlebar mustache, and then do a, a mustache live stream. Some videos with mustache. I haven't done a, just a full mustache for a long time. Uh, only a mustache, and then cut it all off, and then go full beard. All right, gang this playlist okay i created this playlist because our education system completely sucks they don't teach people personal finance what the, what it's all about and whatnot so i put these videos together intentionally to explain what's going on and what my perspective is the first one is an introduction the second one is an introduction just talking about you know some of the elements that you should really consider the the top one here is sort of a disclaimer right this one is telling you that look uh, there are five important things health family friends network budget uh, you know experience and stuff like this and then we get into timing markets we look at some of the we talked about some of the metrics we zoom then if you want to go micro or macro what's your time scale are you going to be trading on a on a millisecond level if you're a high-speed trader or are you going to go into retirement level right are you going to be trading on a weekly level daily level monthly level yearly level what are you going to be doing right have your time frame in mind right and then we put out a full-on video about automation because most of the trading that's taking place in the markets right now is automated a lot of a lot of our economy right now is run through automation if there's anything that they call a black swan events right any black swan event that kicks in that sends these algorithms into cell mode instantly you're going to see a gigantic economic collapse globally especially and we've seen multiple versions of these and they've put in sort of uh, what do you call it uh, blockers right we've had these flash crashes but at some point we're going to get a flash crash that's going to take down a lot of things for a long time be aware of what it implies right and then i put out a video regarding cryptocurrencies my history with cryptocurrencies that i got into 2010 and their importance right and then we looked at a few different metrics growth rates of a few different types of investments it was a two-parter these two videos are ridiculously important okay ridiculously important we define terms i recommend some articles to read we we look at the growth rate of what the cpi is income housing stock market certain funds bitcoin collectibles such as action comics number one and stuff like this it took me what is it two hours to do this including editing these are full-on edited asmr videos and then we kicked it back into cryptocurrencies explain the importance of blockchain technology and decentralizations very very important and then we did an open discussion live stream right and investing personal finance one of my early twitch live streams and then we kicked it into icos cryptocurrencies again and then we looked at return on investment these two are full-on edited videos as well return on investment specifically looked at currencies and currency is extremely important no matter where it is that you're investing money have a global perspective in regards what your currency is relative and what its value is and how it's changing relative to other currencies because we're in a global market right and there's a lot of money moving big money moving between different nations mainly to chasing growth right because there's the the world's flooded with money right now with credit right credit and money right so there's been a lot of money going across the world trying to find some place for growth and that's why we've seen a huge ass uh, bubble in asset prices including real estate the stock market but like money is chasing growth and safe havens right and that is affecting currencies and currencies can 
go up and down and in this case we looked at Canadian dollars versus US dollar where the Canadian dollar increased 30% relative to US dollar in like matter of a couple of years and then dropped again in a matter of a year like 40% or something right it currency matters and then after this we just did tons of live streams talking about personal finance investing and whatnot it just continues and these are all almost all of them are going to be live streams that we did unedited videos because mainly one of the reasons we went into this because my main editing computer had hiccups this is an important playlist at least the first eight videos you should be watching if you're thinking about investing in personal finance okay odd make i woke up when the movie Oh, you woke up when the movie stream started. Okay, quarantine has wrecked my sleep cycle. You and me both and everybody, I think. Stars, uh, shirtless, Skylo, how are you doing? Hell, hell yeah. To the solo mustache. Yeah, we got to do it, man. Uh, Owen, this exact playlist is the way I found your videos, Chicho. What a throwback. Awesome, Owen. I'm glad. I'm glad you found us. Uh, really, as far as I'm concerned, these videos are amazing okay it takes a little bit of time to go through them it's a few hours there right extremely important i wish someone had shared this information with me when i was younger and that was the purpose of me creating these things right should i collect gold or silver or cans of beans um depends are you gonna have food shortages where you are gold and silver is not going to do anything for you cans of beans will be way better okay depending on where you are right gold and silver you should have a little bit of gold and silver just to hedge inflation uh currency collapses and stuff like this but i wouldn't put the uh, your uh, nest egg in gold and silver uh, not by a long shot gina i've already seen a black swan on a single stock a few years ago it wiped out a chunk of my folks retirement savings yeah they can't sell those stocks until the share recovers otherwise they liquidize li li liquidize that loss yeah they realize that loss basically right and gina that's a fallacy they can sell it right and at the same time what they can do is sell another stock that's gone up write off the losses on this stock and against the profits of this stock at least they don't end up paying capital gains on the gains of this stock right so losses you can realize them okay as long as you're writing against certain profits because some people say oh it's too late to sell and then ride a certain stock all the way down to nothing right and then they're like well i couldn't sell it then why not at least you would have recouped 20 percent of your money and then take that 80 percent loss that you had write it against other profits that you had things that you're afraid to liquidate because of the capital gains hit that you're going to take right so whenever you get hit with a major loss somewhere look at your whole port portfolio and there's if there's things that you don't you didn't want to sell because the capital gains was going to take a huge chunk of your profits away depending on where you are by the way take everything i say with a grain of salt capital gains was going to take your chunk away what you can do is now realize those gains against the losses right so that's one thing that some people don't consider which is really unfortunate huckleberry chicho what are your thoughts on buying um fractional stocks via service like cash apps i haven't done it the return is obviously smaller but is it still something worth um, getting into i haven't looked into that stuff huckleberry those are sort of i consider those to be derivatives secondary tertiary markets i rather if i'm going to play derivatives i go put some calls that's what i do or that's what i used to do crafter hello how are you doing neo stock nio stock nio 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 oh is that the uh miro is that the i can't remember what that is that's very good advice i hadn't considered it gina says yeah about realizing capital gains very important very important losses may seem traumatic but if you've been doing it right you have you just haven't acquired losses you're diversified you have capital gains look at your portfolio see where you think the capital gains has maxed out write it off what protects investors from bankruptcy what protects investors from bankruptcy 
incorporating uh, individually. That way you can bankrupt a corporation and you don't lose your own personal assets. The other thing is information, being aware of what's going on, sleepy waves. What do you mean writing off your losses versus your gains? I don't understand, to be honest. Sleepy waves, think about it this way, right? Let's say you got investments in two different stocks, two different, I'm not even gonna say stocks, two different recognized investment instruments, right? Uh, John Zek, thank you very much for the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, let's say you got investments, and we're calling it investments, in two different instruments, right? Let's say you put $100 in each one, okay? Let's say this one goes up to $200, right? That means you have $100 worth of profit, right? Now, if you sell that, depending on where you are, you're going to pay anywhere between 25 to 50% capital gains. So your hundred dollars profit on this, let's say it's fifty percent. Your hundred dollars profit on this, you only get to keep fifty dollars of it, right? Because the tax man takes fifty percent. That's capital gains, right? Now at the same time, let's assume the investment you made in this stock, right? So you had a hundred dollars in both. This one went up to two hundred. Let's say this one that you invested a hundred dollars in went down to fifty. So you lost fifty percent. And keep in mind, losing 50% to get that back up again, you have to gain 100% from where the stock is, right? It's a much harder climb back up than it is on the way down. Going down, you lose a lot compared to how you can make it up again, right? So this is the situation right now. You had, a, you had $100 in each. This went up to two. This went down to 50. You want to realize these gains because you assume that this isn't going to go up anymore. You sell your $200 worth of stock in this, right? $100 was your initial investment. So your profit is $100, okay? And let's assume you don't even have to sell the 100, but you don't even sell that, need to sell the 200. You could just realize 100, keep half your shares, right? But let's assume you sell the whole thing. So you got $100 in profit you've made here, but you lost $50 here. Now, if you didn't sell this, you would have to pay $50 in taxes and you only kept 50, right? But what you can do is sell your position in this stock as well, liquidate both of them, right? So you had a $50 loss here. So you can write that off against your $100 gain here, and your $100 gain here is now $50. Now, $50 gain, first of all, it kicks you down to a lower tax bracket, but we're not even going to consider that, right? Because in a lower tax bracket, you probably won't even end up paying a $50. You pay like not 50%, but you pay like 35%, but we're not going to assume that. So now that it's down to $50, you're only going to be paying 50% on $50, and that's $25, right? So on the $100 gain that you had here, now you're only paying 25% tax, $25 tax, and you're keeping 75 instead of paying $50 tax and keeping 50 because you wrote off, you sold this and wrote it off against this. So your total money that you have right now is this. You have you invested $100, you invested $200, you sold this for 200, you sold this for 50. So you pulled out $250, right? You put in 200, you pulled out $250 when you sold everything. On the $250 that you pulled out, there was only $50 profit, so you ended up paying $25 in taxes. So your net gain was $25 on $200, okay? Does that make sense? So kudos to you, you made a profit of, what is it, 10 plus percent, right? 11 plus, uh, 12 and a half percent, right? And free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Yeah, Neo is the Chinese manufacturing, the battery one, right? The one that went up crazy learning learning about refrigerators is it still going crazy uh tesla is going insane right no it if anything i would want to start my own company then incorporate am i on the right track you are on the right track our western world economic system is based on uh incorporating writing things off 
everybody should have either a sole proprietorship or incorporation or partnership going on partnerships are more tricky by the way twitching jason i personally don't intend on trading individual stocks for some time i'm generally focused on indexes and mutual funds i may refocus on individual stocks and their derivatives like options once it's a small percentage of my portfolio cool gina you, and you generate cash inflows on both and you generate cash inflows on both odd uh essentially invest in a long-term gains instead of trying to cheat the market it's very hard to win in less less fair than straight up gambling yeah you have to spend a lot of time and not make any mistakes in order to profit yeah but the profits could be huge right and you shouldn't have you your whole pull forward portfolio in trading stocks on a daily basis or a weekly basis or a monthly basis because as odd mc mentions it requires a lot of time you got to stay on top of the thing so it becomes more of a business okay sleepy waves curious on leveraging losses versus profit for my next tax for instance someone like what would you consider your losses annually i don't know sleepy waves that really personal dependent right what i want to do gang in today's stream to a certain degree okay is let's take a look at amazon okay let's define some terms right now some basic terms that we need to understand before we can think about investing and we're using the stock market right now just because all the metrics are available keep in mind that all of this can apply to anything else that you want to invest in including yourself right and you don't have to just measure things based on what wall street considers to be assets or growth or gains or profits having a good health if you are ill health and you invest in yourself and you're in better health a year down the road that is a huge return on your investment and you can't be taxed on it okay unless you're buying a lot of things and paying taxes uh cow you know whatever the pst or gst taxes are on it odd make it's also worth noting that gambling is super fun and therefore playing the markets is a real fun time it is a real fun time and it can be extremely addictive okay odd make has a math perspective i have a math perspective anyone with a math perspective loves the markets loves data okay if you understand mathematics if you're literate in the language of mathematics and i've had a lot of students come to me and say oh chicho you know uh, you know i ask them i ask all my students listen after i start working with them i explain to them what the language of mathematics is i get to know them a little bit and find out what they're interested in i slowly start asking them how do they envision themselves in the future what would they like to do not like to be or anything but like to do how they would they would like to interact with the world and i've had some people tell me that some of my students tell me that they would like to make lots of money be very rich and then they don't do their math homework or they say oh math is not important that's when i rip them a new one right because i say you got you got to be the biggest dingling biggest dum dum there ever is because if you really if your only purpose in life is to have make lots of money okay become a multi-millionaire then you would have to be a moron not to basically focus on learning mathematics because it's all mathematics all of it there's a little bit of wisdom there there's a lot of experience right because if you as odd mix says with the gambling stuff if you want to learn how to gamble you can't just read a book and learn you need to sit on a table and play right and with any type of investing markets gambling any anything that you're going to go into initially you're going to take losses initially you're going to get hit because that's the learning experience you're going to make mistakes because emotions come into play and there's a lot of things a lot of fine tweaking that happens when you're playing a certain market that does not come into play you can't read about it okay you can read about it but it doesn't stick right it's those little nuances that really make the difference keep that in mind gang keep that in mind 
very important okay now the stock that I've chosen to sort of define some of the terms that we're going to look at is Amazon okay and the reason I chose chose this is because it's a well-known name a lot of people use it it's a company that's basically gaming the system up the yin yang up the yin yang right it involves a lot of different industries okay not just it is high tech right where people are you know marketplace people are buying selling but there's a lot of cloud services there as well they are diversified they have real estate in game and they have their hands in government right so it's important and there there's a lot of data and it shows you a certain type of market okay now there's some websites that have hooked up here if there's any other websites that you think are worth adding to our repertoire here and what we're going to do we're going to create a whole playlist this is my eco folder and i've quit a create a twitch playlist here or twitch folder here where i'm going to start linking things up right we're going to look some of the websites and then consolidate things and sort of formalize things right now amazon we're looking amazon is on nasdaq right and gang thank you for the follows thank you for the subs apologies if i'm not catching them i just heard the sound so that tells me what's going on right uh but one of the things you want to do you want to look at the uh, trading uh, uh whatever stock that you're looking at you want to go to the website where or the exchange where that company is being hosted is being traded right so amazon is on the nasdaq right so we go on to the nasdaq you type in there's a search here you can type in amazon amazon press enter and amazon comes up right it gives you this stuff the news and whatnot and you click on this thing and it takes you to amazon right first thing you got to do is you can look at it here and by the way i'm using uh i'm doing this here let me open it up further uh in here this thing that you see here okay before markets you get a little another box here here let me make this smaller again okay right now this is what's going on this is as of right now because we're on monday the stock market is open and amazon trading right now amazon is down seven dollars and 84 cents which is 0.25 percent before the market opens and after the market there's another window here where it gives the trades before and after market right and you can take a look at the stuff here this is real-time data coming in after hours pre-market and then you can see the charts right so if we go real-time data actually before we do that take a look at this thing this is the chart and this is one day five days one month six month year to date one year five year and nasdaq sucks because and a lot of a lot of a lot of websites do this right when you say maximum you want the maximum data available here well take a look at this thing nasdaq is only taking it down to 2010 what the hell amazon was around 2000 right i was trading amazon right there was a time where amazon amazon sitting at right now three thousand one hundred and fifty five dollars trading at three thousand one hundred fifty five dollars back in 2001 after the dot com bubble uh, two years after the dot com bubble i was tracking the stuff right amazon stock was down at three and a half dollars right figure that out three and a half dollars up to three thousand right so let's say let's assume you bought a thousand dollars worth of amazon stock in 2002 i believe here i got the other chart here here's the other chart okay this is another website called here let me give you the links to these into chat and i'll provide provide the links in the description of these videos once we load them on to be shooting youtube that's the nasdaq nasdaq stock amazon was 11 cents a share when i when i was yeah yeah here is investing.com okay and i'm using this website because uh i am familiar with it a little bit and it gives you the chart all the way back this is what amazon stock looks like if you do the maximum if you scroll down here this is the maximum this is what it really looks like down here if you go in here does it give you the price it does not give me the price it is right now it's dollar and a half 
down here right so Amazon stock in 1997 was dollar and a half right right now and we're gonna go free Assange free Assange free Assange right and it was a dollar and a half and right now is three thousand one hundred and fifty dollars right so let's do the multiple dollar and a half to fifteen dollars is ten times so ten times hundred and fifty dollars is a hundred times up to one thousand five hundred dollars is a thousand times and then double it to get to three thousand so two thousand times your return in 1997 if you put a thousand dollars into amazon stock right now you would have two million dollars right if i did my calculations right if odd makes still here i hope she will confirm right we can ring out the calculator right one thousand dollars times what did we say two thousand two thousand you had two million dollars right and people talk about investing in real estate are they out of their effing minds right are they out of their effing minds it's not a bad place to be but you're leveraging you're you got burdens you're locked in a thousand dollars in 2000 in 1997 now you you'd be a fool you, you you'd be you'd be a savant if you had held on to all of that right you would be a fool in the markets considered a fool in the markets if you had held on to all of that even though your return would have been a thousand two million dollars right you would have liquidated some of those assets some of those stocks as you started gaining profits because if you put a thousand dollars in 1997 into amazon uh, real estate uh, young polacks my take is real estate was in the long term a great place to be depending on where you were some places real estate was not a good place to be okay depending on where you were right now there's a huge real estate bubble to a certain degree however there are certain sectors that the real estate is going to go up there are certain sectors that real estate is going to crash and it's going to crash hard be aware real estate is not a it's like saying stocks are a good place to be so joe below goes and buys stocks in kodak versus amazon if you bought code if you put a thousand dollars in kodak in 1997 you would have zero right now you would have had zero i think kodak collapsed in mid 2000s right you would have no money right so when people say investing in real estate is a good idea that's such a general statement it's insane to me right it depends where it's like saying investing in the stocks is a good idea which stocks right investing in collectibles is a good idea which collectibles pogs are pogs a great place to invest your money they were at a time when pogs came out right they were selling for a lot now they ain't worth anything pokemon cars oh great place to invest your money stock market great place uh stock a uh, comic books depending on the comic books and general all of them got pretty good place to invest your money comic books damn right a lot of people for a number of decades kept on saying comic books are not a great investment they're fools comic books are a great investment depending on where you put that money okay no it no you can go fast or slow in real estate yeah you can go fast or slow in real estate but to go fast you need a lot of capital you need a lot of capital and you need a lot of connections okay odd make shorting stocks is also kind of interesting shorting stocks could be amazing okay for some reason people think that the only way to go when you're investing in stocks is to ride something up they don't realize that you can ride something down and that's a beautiful thing to do right and there are multiple ways of riding a stock down you can make it short i don't recommend un unless you have huge capital and you know what it is that you're doing you could buy a share in a company and keep writing writing calls and writing calls is basically call puts and calls are this calls are betting that a stock is going to go up puts is betting that a stock is going to go down writing something 
means that you're selling it without having it that way you and hopefully in the future you can buy it at a cheaper price so some people short by buying into buying a position into a, a stock and then writing calls on it and if the stock stays stagnant or goes down they make money if the stock goes above their uh, their uh, what did they call it um, losing the names the uh, the strike price if the stock goes above the strike price then they have to pay the difference right so that's one way of doing it the other way of doing it is just buying puts right you buy puts and uh, sell them when the stock has gone down and puts is the right to sell a stock at a certain price erisley number one how are you doing thank you very much for redeeming points uh, we can't burn a stock market is just long-term gambling it is indeed or short term if you want it to be beanie babies were a bad place to invest your money my poor mom <laughs> that makes sense <laughs> beanie babies were selling for insane i don't know how much that uh, some of the other toys were going for other toys transformers what a place to invest your money uh gaming uh game games right actual games what a place to invest your money what a place to invest your money flip a house though if you want to flip a house though if the buyers aren't there you're going to take a huge hit and remember if you buy a house there's maintenance there's taxes there's bad tenants if you're renting right the market competitive i think that's fun okay so this is another uh, did I give you guys the link for this one as well yeah I did so here's what Amazon stock has done over the last 20 years 23 years right so okay now this is another um, website that someone recommended on our discord page and um, I couldn't figure out how to create an account here because what I want to do with these um, these videos this series that we're gonna do I want to start sort of a, create an account on one of these websites okay and basically start tracking certain stocks right and once we're tracking certain stock we can take a look at their PE ratio the return on investment their earnings per share and some of the other metrics that we're gonna look at okay we can take a look at that stuff over a long period of time which is what you need to do okay Emily how are you doing welcome welcome to another live stream which is what you need to do you need to track something for an extended period of time to have a feel for how that stock that company behaves and that's one thing that I did and I highly recommend right there are thousands of companies that are on the stock market tens of thousands of companies that are on the stock market all over the world right you're gonna have a bad time trying to trade everything okay you really you're gonna have a bad time chasing the hot stocks uh, shorting the bad stocks you're gonna have a bad time what you need to do is follow a basket of stocks okay sometimes a basket of stocks in one or two different industries or a basket of stocks that are related to each other or a basket of stocks where you have five of this type of stock five of this type of stock five of this type of stocks that way you get a feel for how they're trading right because it's very important each stock has its own behavior each company has its own behavior if you don't believe that take a look at how Tesla trades okay really okay take a look at how Microsoft how Amazon how Boeing how some of these stocks trade okay each one has its own life and its own life to a certain degree okay here's a metric where is our metrics let me scroll down here this is the Nasdaq stock by the way and you can scroll down and see some of the key data and we will look at these by the way we're gonna look at these key data and the key data varies depending on which uh, website you're looking at some of them are more recent some of them go give you a couple of more um, uh, what do you call it uh, accuracy uh, decimal places so for example the life the behavior of a stock okay I would consider that 
to be the beta definition and beta is a metric that tells you what the extremes how extreme this company the stock trades right so on the nasdaq website for amazon it says the beta is one but if you go to invest uh investing.com it should show the data take a look at this thing it's got more places more uh significant figures in it so it's telling you that the beta is 1.21 this is a better metric than one you're getting more accurate data so one thing when you're looking at stocks or any other type of investment is you want to have at least two or three different websites you go to to get the metrics you need okay really if you want to dig down if you don't want to really dig down into multiple layers for each of the metrics you want to get a general feel of what the stock is doing and then you can dig down into the different metrics right so beta has sort of a formula to it and it's basically you can consider it to be a high beta is something that trades like mad the extremes are huge goes up and down like crazy like a roller coaster and people lose their shit on it or lose their shirt in it right trading it or make a lot and a low beta is basically a stock which is fairly stagnant you know just does this right or does this or does this right the extremes aren't as much it's not telling you what the trend is if it's going up stagnant or going down it tells you what the noise is what the extremes are okay so keep that in mind and to me that is the is how a stock behaves that's what the beta is to me okay women women hof great to catch another stream an interesting uh subject now the stock market have had a bad hit have they had a bad hit i don't know if they've had a bad hit they're doing pretty damn good as far as i see it uh is it gonna last i don't know is the market down today i don't know what the market's doing today well it was doing okay it was just normal normal range of trading right weekend of barney's one of my classmates has flipped houses by buying them make out smart house features like air hand uh, air handling and electric control electricity control he's made about uh, ninety thousand in his flips as smart house additions yeah for sure we can burn these. there's multiple ways to make money on the housing sector right you can take over a house reno it sell it you make profit you can take over a house live in half of it rent out the other half you can take over a house partition it and rent out rooms right you can live in a house assume that the market's going to go up the land value going to go up and sell it when the land value goes up or you can do what housing was meant to be as far as i'm concerned right because as far as i see it the wall street mentality has turned housing into they introduce it as an investment right so what people have done with that is start flip-flopping houses left and right right and that has driven up the price of housing right what happens when that it, it's basically like money flow how fast uh certain commodity certain asset is switching hands housing market has been switching hands very rapidly over the last 15 years or so huge relative to historical as far as last time i checked anyway right or last 10 years right is that going to continue with housing flipping constantly i don't know man i don't know one of the other things is once you buy an asset at an inflated price if the market does a correction or when the market does a correction if you bought at the peak you're going to get burned man it's going to take you a while to recover a long while to recover especially if interest rates go up which is one of the problems with the housing market people people assume that okay let's they say they're going to buy a five hundred thousand dollar house they're going to put ten percent down they put fifty thousand dollars down they're carrying a debt of four hundred fifty thousand dollars interest rates are low they got good credit let's say they can get it at four percent right or five percent whatever it is what happens when the mark when the market does a serious adjustment and the house that you bought or the property that you bought goes from five hundred thousand dollars to three hundred fifty thousand dollars right now you're sitting at a loss of one hundred fifty thousand dollars 
So even the $50,000 that you put in, that's gone, plus you owe another $100,000 on an asset that's only worth, that's worth $100,000 less or $150,000 less than what you paid for it, right? Now, that's okay if you live in the house, you're just gonna keep on paying your mortgage and you're done and you can re, uh, refinance and do whatever you want later on. What if, what if this was your second property? What if you needed the rental income and the rent is not there anymore what if you had a job and the job's not there anymore and the market's taking a belly up and you're not bringing as much money as you had to pay the mortgage what if interest rates go up and that's something that people haven't considered because they assume the interest rate is going to stay down forever right what happens right when you're paying a mortgage that you can afford to pay on a four hundred fifty thousand dollar loan that you have on a house on a mortgage that you have on a house at five percent but what happens if the interest rate goes up to seven and a half percent can you still afford to pay that right and if you can't you need to liquidate now if the housing prices have come down you're selling at a loss you that means you're going to carry the debt and you got no assets if you end up selling the house you got no assets to show for it now you're in a debt of $150,000 because you lost your 50 in you got another hundred thousand dollars on top of that right it's a tricky game you got to take all the metrics into consideration G liftenoid I want to start a green and sleek business person personally negative carbon footprint all my shirts are made of recycled bottles and I want to be going in that direction that's great yeah that'll work the question is how much energy does it take he hate me thank you very much for the bits how much is it going to take to recycle uh your bottles right like plastic like everybody recycles not everybody but most people recycle where i am plastic but we know that only 20% of the plastic that we're recycling actually gets recycled, right? So 20% of the bottles and stuff that we put in our recycling bin is being recycled. So 80% is still going to the landfills. That's not a sustainable way of being. And what is the cost of that recycling? That's what it decides on, right? So here's another website where there's information you can gather. I'm gonna provide this as well, okay? Now, for some reason, if you go here, when this is in, it's not opened up all the way in the browser, it won't let you click on it to go to the Amazon page that they have. So, but if you open it up, check this out. If I open it up, I can click on it and it opens up a page, right? So what I'm going to do is open up a page, boing, and we're going to go to the Amazon. I'm going to reduce this again, okay? And, oops, that's not it. This is the one. So here is the data from this website and i like this data it's not bad can we look at this uh look at like socially responsible investing stocks for sure sleepy ways if you know any let me know i used to track some they all went bankrupt they 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 took them off the funds there were socially responsible funds that i knew of 15 years ago but they couldn't maintain that maybe the um the situation has changed up a little bit since then right so here is this website that i linked this up this is macro trend stock st stock screener and this is the stock chart for amazon right and i like this website because it's um it, it gives you the charts right it takes it all the way down to what is it does it tell us the date here it says 1997 right it gives you the full chart right and you can do the different years which is really good you can do the 50-day moving average right there's a black line there you can do the 200-day moving average there's a red line there and these are metrics that we're going to look at right here's a log version of the stock which is linear so technically speaking a lot of people say you can short amazon you could but it hasn't gone exponential in a logarithmic scale yet right as opposed to let me see if we can find tesla here where's tesla there's tesla let's click on tesla i'll show you tesla on this right and then let's reduce this so here's tesla let's take a look at the tesla on a semi-log graph oops that's not it we want this one where did my amazon go oh did it close amazon what a 
Oh, I closed Amazon, the little ding -ling. So take a look at this. This is Tesla. And I've mentioned this before. Back in 2011, I bought into Tesla for someone that was managing money for, right? At the time, it was $25. Tesla did a five for one split. So I basically bought into Tesla when it was $5. Right now, it's trading at 600 what? 600 what? 600 what? Right now, it's trading at I don't know, almost 600, 600 something dollars right now. Uh, Tesla is up today, like big time, right? We can look at that as well, sure. But here's the log. Here's the log. Now, take a look at this thing. Tesla went exponential on a semi log graph, right? Semi log graph, we talked about this, this personal finance stuff. Take a look. These two videos, these two videos, really watch these videos it's it's called personal finance currency money and the economy part one graphing us dollar versus cpi and part two is personal finance currency money economy part two um, gold s p superman income bitcoin and different things right take a look at this thing if you were shorting if you were in the business of shorting stocks to make money when tesla went up here it means it went exponential on a lot semi log graph usually this is a great time to short a stock if you shorted it uh there wasn't a you would have to cover right down here right you would have shorted a 38 covered at 24 right and this is pre uh, the five for one split so multiply these by five that was what the stock was trading at right now it kept on going up kept on going up now it's gone to a certain degree exponential again on a semi log graph and it's not at 500 547 it's actually a 600 something right now but on a semi log graph it's just another blip up will it go above a thousand if i had lots of capital if i had extra capital to burn if tesla right now i would start uh, this is not stock recommendation by the way gangs please take this with a grain of salt if i had extra money laying around and i was looking to do something and maybe make some quick cash on the side right maybe or lose it this is called gambling i'd be buying puts for this right now right building a put position and if it went above a thousand dollars i'd be loading it okay because look at the jump from here to here and let's look and this is all of it yeah this is all of it right this is two step exponentials on a logarithmic scale interesting interesting this is so let's take the log out this is what it looks like and here's another metric you can look at right here's the 200 day moving average the red line that you see here the 200 day moving average is sitting around 275 dollars and Tesla's trading at 600 something dollars. The gap between the 200 day moving average and the stock price right now is huge. And what happens in general, there's a 50 day moving average as well, right? Here's a 50 day moving average is the black line. These trend lines, the moving averages tend to pull the daily price of a stock in that direction. Okay. So if the 200 day moving average is here it means there's a lot of weight pulling it down so the tendency for the stock try to come down closer to close that gap is more right because basically what it means there's a lot of people that are sitting on a lot of profit that they might want to cash out right so there's more pressure on it being sold on the flip side if a stock if this is the 200 day moving average and a stock price has collapsed and the gap between 200 day moving average and what it is right now is huge on the downside then there's a lot of people who are, don't want to sell and there might be some people that are stepping in to buy to kick it back up towards a 200 day or 50 day moving average and the 200 day moving averages and the 50 day moving averages tend to have bounces occurring on them i mean take a look at this right here's the 200 day moving uh, here's a 50 day moving average for tesla and the 200 day moving average Here's Tesla stock in 2020 kicking up to $160, $170, burned through the 50 day moving average and bounced off the 200 day moving average. Boom. And then burned through the 50 day moving average and it stayed basically above the 50 day moving average for a long time and it's doing bounces off the 50 day moving average, right? 
this is something else that you can look into charts and we will look into this further okay but as far as just numbers wise goes this is a pretty good website as well and take a look at this thing i'm just going to read the chat for a little bit this is called gambling chicho knows how it is this is called gambling okay young polex you haven't lost anything if you don't sell correct haha <laughs> that's famous last words of people that hold kodak and xerox stock we haven't sold anything so we we haven't realized the losses yet there's nothing wrong gang with selling something you have and buying it at a at a lower price if it's on the way down and you think it hasn't bought on that yet and there's nothing wrong with selling something that is gone up fairly high assuming that it's going to come down that you can buy it at a lower price if it gets away from you and the stock goes up higher there's nothing wrong buying it at a higher price if the fundamentals have changed and justifies you buying that stock at a higher price okay very important very important okay Chicho, what is a dead cat bounce? Dead cat bounce is basically when a stock, when a company's fundamentals are done and the stock is collapsing, but it's collapsing too fast, right? So let's say a stock is $100 and goes boom, drops down to $10 in one shot, right? Now, usually after the first fall of a stock dropping huge, I wouldn't step in. Let's say on the next day, because there's people that couldn't pull the trigger on the first day, and they, there's going to be like two or three days of people pulling triggers, sell, 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 right? So let's say a stock goes from $100, let's say not $10, let's go for $100 to to set, uh, to $30. It just drops 70%. On the next day, let's say it drops another 50%. So it goes from $30 to $15. Wow, that's an 85% in two days, right? On the on the third day, let's say it drops another five dollars, goes down to ten dollars. For me, when a stock has collapsed ninety percent, I quickly I start seriously looking at it for a dead cap house, or I used to anyway. I shouldn't say do I used to start looking at it when a stock has collapsed ninety five percent of its value in a short period of time. You could play a dead bounce assuming that people are going to buy into it and watch the stock go up a little bit and keep in mind if a stock goes from a hundred dollars down to nine down to five dollars it's collapsed 95 percent right so now the value of the stock is five dollars let's say the stock does a dead cat bounce and goes up to fifteen dollars right the stock is still down 85 percent from where it was at a hundred dollars however it's gone from five dollars when you bought it to fifteen dollars that's two three times your money right you put a thousand dollars in you're cashing out three thousand dollars right that's three hundred percent two two hundred percent return i always mix them up two hundred percent return on your dead cat bounce i would be selling at that point and seeing what happens with the stock right Odd make no I mean when a stock drops and then uh, people say they haven't sold so they didn't lose any yeah I'm not expert in this field so I'm just curious but yeah young Polex people say that uh, and for sure legit you might want to hold on to it ding bobber my friends were snip uh, snipping dead cat bounces in the early days of Bitcoin yeah Oh, man, crypto is kind of crazy because if you try to invest in all the different markets you get into the dumbest pump and dump schemes with dog coin or anything yeah indeed right and they're just fun and what they are is basically there's different levels of these things on the stock market as well right there's blue chip stocks and whatever chip stocks and pink slips right there's a lot of stocks on the markets that are basically shell companies that are pump pump and dump in any market really even comic books right they also did pump and dump not very ding bobber said not very ethical they lied and convinced people to buy a coin all at the same time they had bought earlier and when it went up they sold yeah indeed and this happens in, in the stock market 
okay chicho what's a forex trading forex trading is i i didn't play it play it right but it's basically messing around with currencies right i believe so anyway i have a friend who keeps trying to get me to trade currency yeah currencies with him uh, currencies are risky you need a lot when i looked at it you need a serious coin to be able to do currency trading right not my game i'm not into forex trading if you're going to do uh playing the currencies what you can do is just buy certain certain stocks in certain markets and take a look at based on what the currency is doing right so for example i'll give you an example for comic books right when brexit passed when it first passed the pound the british pound dropped right dropped like 10 percent, 15 percent. it was something i can't remember what it was exactly right so what i ended up doing i played the currency difference right i went on ebay and i bought five issues of geomancer valiance legends of the geomancer number one coming to me from the uk in british pounds right converting it from canadian dollars to british pounds so i basically got a 15 percent discount on the asset on the collectible i was buying so if you want to play currencies you don't need to do one on a forex exchange that's straight up gambling you can do it with assets you can do it with anything you want oddmic i actually think forex trading would be more fun with stocks just because you can tie more direct political events uh, with it you mean oddmic you mean uh buying stocks in a certain currency is that what you mean which is what i'm referring to ding bobber chicho is it wise to buy gold and other precious metals and gems and keep them as nest eggs uh to a certain degree yeah it's hedge against inflation but i wouldn't go too heavy with those personally right maximum 10 percent maximum maybe 15 percent and that's only assuming that you don't need the cash right away uh so odd make. i mean forest might be more fun than stocks i had a typo oh forex might be more fun than five it would be it, because it would take into consideration the political events right and gang if you don't think that's viable take a look at this here i, have, I didn't open these up but let's take a look at it here is here is the price of iranian tomans relative or real yeah real basically relative to the us dollar is twenty five thousand, right now it was sitting at thirty two thousand. okay i had i had friends family friends that were telling me that they had money in iranian bank accounts that was paying them 20 percent, 18 percent interest per year right back in 2000 2000 early 2000 stuff and i told them look man there's a reason why they're paying you that percent because the currency iranian currency is not very stable and it's going to go down like relative to the us dollar that interest rate that you're getting is not going to compensate for the drop in its value on the global stock on the global markets right and they were getting 18 percent living off the money in canada or united states or wherever it was right they had money in the bank so they were just living off the interest right at that time us dollars to canadian tomans was one to six hundred it went up to one to thirty two thousand in 2017 so in about 15 years it went from one to six hundred to one to thirty two thousand right the value of the iranian currency dropped huge and i haven't played around with this so here let's do this let's go from 2000 i don't even know if it's gonna oh it only goes to 2012 unfortunately uh fine no it doesn't even do that it's stupid come on 2012 do it hey what the hell okay let's go 2013 will it do it 2012 let's see if it does it oh it did oh it didn't it it doesn't see it anyway that's what the trade is right here's another one here's a turkish real right and i track these by the way 
and I'm tracking for example Turkey is because Turkey is waging a lot of wars all around the region one of the reasons is waging all these wars because Erdogan is a dictator right and Turkish economy has completely collapsed and he's trying to occupy uh, Turkish mines with war with the enemy with the other right in some places trying to commit genocide for example Armenia because to distract people from their economy Turkish economy completely collapsing right so here's the Turkish lira right going from one US dollar to 1.5 to one to almost eight right so drop by 85 percent okay when you see countries currencies collapsing like this that area is going to become unstable if they're a military power they're going to wage war okay to boost up their economy and distract the population so the population doesn't dethrone the dictators right or dethrone the oligarchs or dethrone the technocrats right now for example the US dollar relative to the Canadian dollar in the last year 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 and a bit has collapsed 12 percent so Canadian dollar has increased 12 percent relative to the US dollar in the last year and a bit okay here we can take a look at it and I do track these right you have to track currencies going oh it's not showing me the chart view chart here we go here's the chart right one day one year Boop. here's the Canadian dollar one Canadian dollar would only get you in the beginning of this year 68 cents at the bottom 69 cents US dollars right now one Canadian dollar gets to gets you 78 cents US dollar right so US dollar has collapsed to a certain degree when it comes to currencies it's a huge drop okay 12 percent in one year here's the five-year chart in a five-year chart it looks reasonable take a take a look at the 10-year chart holy camoles Canadian dollar in 2011 and we talked about this by the way gang this is the chart we're talking about um, this video right here here let me link it up for you okay because we do talk about where is the okay I'm gonna give you this link okay this is something we talked about right let me close this this is something that we graphed right if we look at this where is our thing right one Canadian dollar used to be able to get you dollar five US whoa whoa now I would have back then you would it would have been smart for you to convert all your Canadian dollars to US dollars because it collapsed down to 65 cents or 68 69 cents right so you would have gained 30 percent in a matter of four years on your investment doing currencies okay oh sleepy ways you want to look at that one um okay let, let's take a look at that one let's take a look at this stock neo okay i'm just going to read the chat uh, get caught up with the chat that way we can uh take a look at these things how are we doing here we're doing okay okay uh, let's see the chat uh ding baba chicho if a genie gave me one wish i might make him create a super intelligent algorithm ai that would surf the stock market for me a ding bobber there's already algorithms out there doing this here we talked about this in this video we talked about a fund uh, okay oops in this video we talked about a fund here let's see if we can bring it up we talked about this fund right here see the slope the one with the greatest slope give you the greatest return this slope right here i think it's that one oops yeah it is that one oh there's another one i did a lot of editing on this gang like i put a lot of work in this video <laughs> it's a great video right this green line that you see here was a company that was started off by mathematicians right it was a sort of a hedge fund or a, like a bass like it was a company that was buying into stocks right start off by mathematicians they created automated algorithms right 
that we're doing trading automatically and moving from one stock to another one field to another and whatnot their return on average over a 10-year period ready for this average return per year was 78 percent per year uh, did you get that 78 percent per year okay i hope you appreciate that i think this is the green stock uh, i i don't think that's bitcoin because bitcoin came we did later on and we did early on or something let me see if i can confirm this here there actually let's go let's go here i hope i'm picking the right one let's see because i jaw my videos saying which one's what oh did i put it on there oh 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 this is what we want oh yeah no no uh, yeah this is bitcoin take a look at this one this light one is bitcoin right this is a stock traded company a fund right 78 percent per year on average over a 10-year period i think if you had put in a hundred dollars you would have cashed out a million right insanity okay so ai right now i don't want to say ai but automated trading does occur on the stock market okay include self-destruct in the bios chicho do you uh do your relatives in uh, do you have relatives in armenia if so how is this currency doing i haven't looked at the armenian currency but i'm assuming it's not doing very well right uh there's th three countries basically try to annihilate a whole region of armenia or armenian occupied territory right where ancestry historically speaking were armenians and they're committing genocide there army uh azerbaijan turkey and israel tag team each other killed a lot of armenians and they're committing cultural genocide in lower part of nagorno karabakh right so i'm assuming armenia is not doing too well but it could be at the bottom who knows we'll see all right odd me but then we'd have to know when it is uh sentient that there's a chance we might not be sentient we might think we are haha <laughs> indeed sleepways uh can we look at the u.s currency want to hear your prediction about it i think the u.s currency possibly will go up it really depends man oh shit ah oh, a fellow duck, duck go user indeed why would anyone use google you want your you want your searches censored information censored by the technocross and silicon valley duck duck go is the way to go uh, right now i started off slowly gang i was using duck duck go around 20 percent 30 percent 50 percent 60 percent 70 percent right now 95 percent of my searches more than that not 90 let's say 95 95 percent of my searches are duck duck go and i use google for certain things mainly their maps <laughs> right <laughs> there's only so much they can censor off the map uh sweetheart uncle sweetheart off topic but bob dylan just sold his entire 60-year catalog oh no to universal for nine digits unfortunate i guess songwriting could be a good investment bob dylan man what a damn mistake bob dylan that 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 makes me so disappointed on bob dylan really that 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 is one of the worst pieces of news i ever heard what bob dylan should have done is gone gang i had an amazing run my family's taken care of they have enough money to live for two three generations right i have enough money to take care of myself all my library is creative commons share and share alike bob dylan f you for doing that really you go against some of the some of the music some of the entire uh philosophy that he was preaching and singing about and he is just a folk singer very unfortunate sweetheart he should have made it all creative comments he would have been remembered as 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 a revolutionary if he did that now he's just bob dylan too bad too bad pathetic odd make if anyone is interested in some of the math behind smart trading look up the black uh, skullless equation oh cool Sto uh, stochastic calculus is also really useful oh cool thanks odd make odd make you know what i'm gonna say if you can link it on discord please thank you 
either in investing, investing or mathematics, preferably in both uh, folders that we have. Think Bob, that's messed up. It is. It is. The hedge fund that made seventy-eight percent per uh, percent return was Renaissance Technologies, created by James Simmons. Indeed, it was, and we talk about this Oddmic in that video. Uh, brilliant, brilliant. And by the way, in 2016, Renaissance Technologies, and this is the political game in play in the United States, Renaissance Technologies was supporting both the Democratic Party and the Republican Party because they didn't give a rat's ass who won. They just wanted a say in what happens, right? Malagras, how are you doing? I enjoy I enjoy that vid watch it regularly for ASMR purposes awesome awesome and yeah it's full-on ASMR and it contains a tremendous amount of info uh, I'm very proud of these videos by the way gang I thought my friend turning 10k into 300k overnight was good but consistent 78% increase is nuts yeah and take turning 10k into uh, ten thousand dollars into three hundred thousand dollars overnight is pretty damn good man that's nothing to cough at right Chicho, I use uh, Eucasia. It doesn't track and uh, plants trees. Oh, I've heard about that. I haven't used that yet. Oh, I really, really like Bob Dylan. I'm sad. Me too, Odmik. That really pissed me off, actually. Thank you for sharing the info, but F Bob Dylan. What a piece of crap. Really, so disappointed with him. And this is, you, you guys are seeing me being a reactionary. So disappointed. He had the opportunity he had the opportunity to set something in motion which would make him a legend right now his legend status went down the toilet for some of us all right really how disappointing he sold his soul for money he sold his soul for money Bob Dylan my god how disappointing wow 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 and there's people going to say well he has a right to do that yeah he has a right to do that and i have a right to trash talk him for selling out to hollywood selling out to wall street what a garbage move what a garbage move disgusting oh my god how horrendous how horrendous my god i can't even listen to bob dylan now oh so disappointed so disappointed slow train coming as far as i was concerned one of the greatest albums that bob dylan ever put out and man listen to slow train coming and tell me if that goes with the philosophy of selling his music to universal god damn it miro so disappointed with the so-called revolutionaries from the 60s they can kiss my ass right miro so how exactly do you get into the stock market i've heard about getting an online brokerage or using an app like robin sure you can if you have a bank account most banks now have an online trading option or trading option all you have to do is go to your bank and say you're interested in uh, trading stocks and what um what platform are they using for their stock trading and it links it up with your bank account and you can just transfer money to your stock trading account and trade stocks right get into it slow if you're going to get into it ding bobber chicho about armenia i know two co uh, content creators from there and they made public statements about the truth of the situation it was inspiring yeah for sure we are definitely armenians we are definitely vocal creatures but also hard to hear hard to hear indeed chicho you say this but did you really expect him to do that he sold sold it indeed he sold it and i you know what uh i don't expect any anybody I, my expectations of people is very um i wouldn't say very low my expectations of people is very high but my ex my expectations of what they will do is not set in stone but to me it is extremely disappointing when you know and i don't know what bob dylan's finances is maybe he needed the money maybe his whole family has some kind of health issues they live in the united states and it's going to cost them millions of dollars for them to be able to live 
for however long they need to live, right? Maybe that is the case. Maybe he needed the money, right? Maybe he could have gone to the global community and said, gang, I want to make my whole library Creative Commons, okay? Universal Studios has offered me this. I'm willing to take 10%. Here's my crowdfunding page. Raise 10%. You have access to my whole library. You can do whatever you want to it. Now, mind you, I don't know Bob Dylan's financial situation. Maybe he needs to build a space rocket and go live in outer space with his family because their whatever illness they have, mental, spiritual, physical, will not deteriorate, will allow them to live for 50 years, right? I don't know, okay? What should he have done? Um, like, sweetheart, that's, that's what I mean. Like, really, what was the money that important to him? Like, I can honestly tell you right now, gang, if I had a company come to me right now, Universal, Walt Disney, whatever, they offered me $10 million for my content, I wouldn't do it. I wouldn't sell them for I wouldn't sell my, what I've created, what I put my heart, sweat and tears in my essence into for ten million dollars. I wouldn't do it right for a hundred million dollars. Yeah, I do it for a hundred million dollars. Not because I feel like I'm selling my heart and soul, but because with a hundred million dollars, I could go buy a gigantic studio, got all the equipment and recreate everything, right? Because I have the time to recreate everything. Bob Dylan doesn't, okay? Bob Dylan is at the end of his life. Maybe he did this so he knows that his family is taken care of, right? Maybe, okay? But there's no way he can create his whole library again. Maybe I'm being a hypocrite. Maybe I'm being too harsh. Maybe I'm being an idealist. Maybe I'm not looking at the reality of the situation. Maybe I'm just really disappointed with Bob Dylan. Think about it. It would have been crazy if he did, but never was he ever going to make it Creative Commons. Very unfortunate. He should have made a Creative Commons. Now we know how much Rolling Stone costs. Now we know how much Rolling Stone costs. Yeah, indeed. Young Polax. I mean, he, 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 that's, his art and craft he has the right to sell it him am i wrong no he has a right to sell it young polax but universal studios is going to lock that shit up right can you share bob dylan's music anywhere online now hell no no you can't why here for example uh chappelle dave chappelle i linked it up in our discord right under comedians and under economics i believe or ethics under e ethics folder dave chappelle i watched a video of dave chappelle like two days ago about the chappelle show where he created the chappelle show and he signed a contract and he doesn't have the rights to the chappelle show he doesn't have the rights even to the name chappelle show and Ch the people that own the own the Chappelle show are live streaming it without Dave Chappelle getting anything from it right what did Dave Chappelle say in that video where he's trash talking the corporation that he signed a contract with right now he made a mistake he was youthful he was young he didn't know what he was doing the lawyer screwed him over right and the con and the copyright police screwed him over and all that jazz right what does Dave Chappelle tell his audience to do Dave Chappelle says listen gang do me a favor do me a favor okay do not watch the dave chappelle show that's what dave chappelle says do not watch the dave chappelle show because he ain't getting shit from it okay now that's what dave chappelle said okay regarding his content okay he has a right to do it i will call bob Dylan an asshole if he made a made a crowdfund not if he was saying listen gang i'm taking 10 percent, and i'm going to allow that to happen but i agree with you to a certain degree right okay i posted a technical version of the black scholars on the math section and a softer and easier version on the economic section awesome thank you very much Odmic. i'll check out the economics one <laughs> gina so what is your conversion rate on expectations what percentage of expectations are fulfilled in what way Gina in what way and regarding what uh, um, man I, I didn't mean to go off on Bob Dylan hard uh, because I love his music 
but man so disappointed dig bob or chicho imagine this bobdylan.com and it's just a free streaming download platform for the whole discord discord a dude ding bobber amazing bobdylan.com here's my whole library all of it creative commons share and share like enjoy until the end of time or until the end of humanity what a statement what a statement what a statement right i don't know someone said nine figures i don't know what it was and those figures mean nothing man it, it's imaginary right well he's 80 years old and the entire catalog is preserved now it could have been preserved it it no it, it the entire catalog uh uncle sweetheart the entire catalog is not preserved the entire catalog is now locked in a vault that's what the entire catalog is now okay locked in a vault controlled by central institution central corporation that really doesn't give a rat's ass about music about creators or consumers of music the only thing it cares about it's wall street shareholder value right that's what it cares about he gave his music to an institution that doesn't give a rat's ass about music no uncle sweetheart since i started this can of worms man i gotta continue with the, the 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 criticism of what i'm saying here well i do think some people expect musicians to be moral virtue heroes and a good business decision is considered unethical i don't consider this to be a good business decision right a business decision is not just the end um what do you call it the money you get out of it a good business decision has multiple values to it multiple multiple layers to it right a lot of other musicians did the same thing including um billy elish stevie nicks kendrick lamar yeah i don't i don't listen to any of those um okay i did fleet with mac and stuff i used to listen to, but i don't anymore i look man my main thing is uh artists musicians uh creators content cre i don't care who you are we've reached a point in our society that you cannot sell out to wall street you can't give them that power because that goes against everything that your content if there was any essence soul in it other than just trying to make money okay if you had any type of political statement social statement any type of uh ethical spiritual any type of statement that matters to humanity and you sell that content to wall street you just you just shat all over your philosophy and who you were that's my take and i'm being hard okay miro yeah it's because i've got money sorted in my bank not much but enough for me to buy me some stocks i'm really looking into okay let's take a look at neo okay neo let's take a look at neo neo let's look at the chart first okay um let's see if we're gonna find it here neo 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 here we go are we gonna look at on uh, class a let's take a look at this thing it's 45 dollars right now and let's look at lifetime and this is something that's gone through the roof right it's gone from 278 and it's sitting at 45 dollars right now and whatever's financials let's see is it on the nasdaq i'm assuming it's on the nasdaq let's let's take a look at it on the nasdaq shares each compressing this has got to be it right yeah this is it so let's look at the max okay here's the chart right and let's take a look at this thing is it what does it look like on a logarithmic is this the one we did on logarithmic uh no it's not let's do this let's look at the financials oof forward price to earnings is negative 64 dollars yikes uh weekly high was 57 market gap is 61 mil 
61 billion yikes uh, one year target is 33 by analyst that really doesn't mean shit uh, today volume volume previous close we need some more metrics there is no dividend the beta is one is the beta one really uh, there is no beta so nasdaq beta i wouldn't trust the one here i would have to dig down a little bit right oops where do we go market cap is 53 billion right now for something that generates revenue check this out okay so market cap is 53 billion and his revenue is 274 million its earnings per share per share is negative 1.23 now it's the same field as tesla right so there is something to be said there if tesla's going up like mad then this is riding as coattails right it's sort of something that happened with linux uh red uh, red hat and stuff like this let's take a look at it here let's see what this thing says nero here is nero and by the way uh nero and sleepy waves i think was asking about this take a look at these metrics just read up on it see what it tells you right and what you can do is all these things all these buttons here they they give you information about it right basic shares earnings per share is negative 1.57 in 2000 here, here's a plus side in 2018 its earnings per share was negative 10 but right now it's negative 1.59 which is pretty damn good it's 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 reduced it's never negative it's earnings per share it's not negative anymore and it's reduced basically tenfold so that's not bad next year it might be doing phenomenal right and you have to look at this data even more okay cost of goods so that's what i would do uh miro right uh, that's what i would look into i've looked at the cnn forecaster Ooh, uh, is that cnn like uh, the cnn <laughs> news agency and just got a feeling it's going to blow up at least for a while so if i buy a stock now for like 50 dollars and it raises to 75 how does the selling process work you just sell it and you bank 25 dollars. that's all that happens right Mira it's like just look think of stocks as like anything think of it as buying a collectible let's let's say you buy a baseball card that is fifty dollars and then you sell it at 75 you make twenty seven uh, you make twenty five dollars less your trading fees right and make sure your trading fees aren't very high it's worthwhile right if you buy something at a at a hundred dollars and your trading fees are twenty dollars you need that hundred you need that stock to go up at least 20 percent for you to even just break even right because you pay your trading fees both on buying and selling i would call bob dylan an asshole 300 to 400 mil yeah does he need the 300 to 400 mil really maybe maybe he wants to go to vegas and roll the bones right teacher someone who played the music industry is uh frank ocean frank ocean haha -ha quote for an article quote from an article let's read this thing bobber the very next day after endless was released frank ocean dropped blonde exclusively via apple music blonde was number one in seven countries and sold 232,000 units 275,000 with album equivalent units in the first week he went from owning 17 percent to 70 percent of his royalties and publishing nice ocean also secured a bag from uh, bag from apple music for the exclusivity rumored to be worth 220 million chess move awesome yeah if you're going to game the system game the system don't sell out to the system sponsored by apple music endless was announced via 140 40 minute live stream during the stream it appeared to be frank ocean building a staircase with the instrument of endless playing in a loop the album eventually released and his contract was fulfilled with Def Jam. Nice. He was now independent, and that's when the finesse was re uh, revealed. Awesome. Game the system, gang. Don't sell out to the system. We've also reached a point, Crack says, where you don't have to, to, to either. There are way more 
options that put the control directly in the hands of the artist indeed like bob dylan should have known that we're in the age of information right now there are platforms out there maybe he was getting bad advice seriously maybe he was under pressure from the family maybe he's just done right he's just he, he knows he my guess is bob dylan is gonna gonna kick the bucket in the next year if he did this because he's either lost his mind or doesn't give a rat's ass or he was under pressure from family or he just wanted to go out with a bang right be buried in a gold coffin uh lined with diamond diamonds i don't know i have no idea gang we didn't cover as much as i i i'd wanted to uh regarding the metrics i wanted to get into these things like uh looking at some of the metrics earnings per share price to earning ratio and net income right but we can cover all of the stuff in the second installment of this series and this is going to continue for a long time gang we're going to continue to do this okay now that we're in it we're going to continue to do this and we're going to bring in some of the metrics learn some of the metrics here and incorporate it with the investing and personal finance series that we started with the with the comic books right especially in regards to buying the comic books all the comic book hauls we've done and selling the comic books all the data we've collected from selling comic books that i did on ebay right so we're gonna slowly it's gonna take us a while to incorporate all of this data and the end game of all this gang the end game of all this is basically to create a whole module on investing in personal finance so we've done a pretty good job of it so far sleepy with chicho i wish there was a way to invest in musicians kind of like ipos indeed i agree with you where the money isn't a donation but rather would grow if the artist blew up sleepy waves dude that is exactly what i've been hoping for and check this out since you brought it up since you brought it up see this thing is it this one? Oh, it's this one Doop. Uh, da, 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 da. I think it's this one. Chicho currencies. Okay, one of these videos, the cryptocurrencies. Let's explore them. Yeah, it's this one. Check this one. Blockchain technology gives you the opportunity to do this. Okay, especially tokens, security tokens, and stuff like this. I talk about this, and what I mention here is just imagine at a certain point that I need to raise a certain amount of funds to kick this whole project up to another level is to introduce Chicho currencies, right? Chicho coins, where people actually will get a certain amount of dividends, certain amount of returns for funding this project, right? ICOs, initial coin offerings, right? So. I talk about that in that video. I think it's in that video or the previous crypto video that we did. And I do have a cryptocurrency playlist as well that you can find on uh, on my channel. Okay, Chicho, we we leave as naked as we come. We leave as naked as we come, man. Man, if you want to be buried in a gold coffin, you know, more power to you. But phew, what a waste! What a waste! Thing bobber quote. You don't need the devil aka elites they need you they need us to be working our asses off for them for their system to function but if we detach ourselves from their system and free out our minds we don't need them they are paras parasitic indeed and just imagine they bought the heart and soul of bob dylan for fiat currency <laughs> <laughs> what the f sleep with chicho whoever makes the platform for that is going to be a successful because most musicians want to be independent and this is the way to do it sleepy waves indeed indeed and i'm i'm doing my best to put the seeds up planting seeds brother planting seeds brother planting seeds brother saving fiat just to die save yeah saving fiat just to die maybe maybe something else was going on that we don't know we don't know we don't know gang thank you for being here thank you for discussions thank you for the interaction thank you for the criticism thank you for the comments and thank you for the love thank you for the subs thank you for the follows okay 
Chicho, sleepy waves. Chicho, you got to make the platform for the going on, dude. I'm like, I'm all, right now. I'm operating at a hundred plus percent capacity, right? Once I create all these math modules, maybe we roll the money that we're going to generate from there. Hopefully, <laughs> I'm going to just support we're going to get from there into other things that we can support different communities, right? We're in this for the long game, man. We're, I am anyway. Look, thousand plus videos on YouTube. Fifteen years ago, when I started, I knew I was going to hit a thousand. Uh, I was under assumption it was going to be all related to uh, mathematics, but it is eighty percent related to mathematics. About fifty percent, all of it math, right? We do it four twenty style, brother. We do it in our own way, in our own style, and we make sure there's a lot of love in it right you would be successful i consider myself successful right now uh sleepy waves thing while we're thanks chicho try and cheer up about the bob dylan thing there there are others like frank ocean out there indeed thing bobber and i'm glad i got that out of me because i said what i needed to be said and i don't need to say no more about that i'm just going to make sure i ain't going to be playing bob dylan no for any time soon right gina thank you chicho this was very interesting my pleasure gina thank you for being here sleepy waves when are we going to do the part two of this uh stock series i wish we went more in detail today yeah indeed but this was sort of our intro right uh juju b07 thank you for the follow um we will do we'll do i'm not sure if we'll include in the next set maybe we'll include in the next set maybe we'll include it in two sets from now or something right uh, we'll sort it out and we'll see how the video does what the feedback is what people want to do and whatnot but we will do sleepy waves uh, personal finance is something uh, that i knew i was going to start creating especially when i put put out the comic book first comic book video i ever put out i mentioned that we were going to do this uh, so it is a long-term project that i really want to do good batch you have a great day you guys as well gang if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c h y c h o i don't put anything behind paywalls everything is creative commons universal studios or any of those big boys in hollywood or wall street will never never ever put these things in a vault okay so share and share alike for those of you who've been supporting this work thank you very much for the support it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this and with your support and the support that hopefully will be coming in more and more in the future we'll kick this up into higher gear and build the platforms that we need to build to make sure we share as much as we can right we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o-l-i-v-e if you want to participate in the chat twitch is where you want to be at okay and gang for those of you who are supporting this work for those of you who are here subbing following sharing liking commenting discussing and mods thank you for taking care of business thank you for being here gang and thank you for the support i do announce these live streams 30 minutes before we go live on parlor lo minds vk gap um lo and twitter and all the links will be in the description of the video and you can go to our twitch channel and in the chat irrelevant if we're live streaming or not just type in exclamation mark social and all links will pop up including our discord page where there's a lot of discussion a lot of people sharing a lot of information uh taking place and people slowly starting to work together as a cooperative to create certain things which is amazing including music right where was there was one track that ding bobber loaded up and then someone else came in and put a bass riff to it awesome awesome right and they fine-tuned it a little bit fan a fantastic gang fantastic we will be uploading this audio as a podcast to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o and it should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes and we will be uploading this video this live stream this discussion to both bitshoot and youtube and you can support this work on those platforms by following liking commenting turning on notifications you're guaranteed to get the notifications through bitshoot not so much through youtube but if you're on youtube you want to support this work you can join youtube membership there's a button there 
and for those of you who've, who have joined YouTube membership, thank you very much for your support. Gang, I hope you have a fantastic day. And uh, tomorrow, we follow this up with mathematics. We've got another seven live streams lined up for next week or so. Uh, mathematics, comic book readings, current events, cooking stream. We're going to do meditation, I believe, this Thursday. We, we got some stuff lined up. For the next 10 days or so i hope you join us and tomorrow 12 p.m pdt uh on december 8th okay you're gonna you it's already going to be done on youtube and bitchute if you're watching this video we're doing another drop in math tutoring session aside from that gang i hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day morning afternoon and free assange free assange free assange bye everyone